Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Ghoul School Blind. In the last one, we were lost as shit in the uh, the place where everything's green. We were lost as shit in the last episode, too. Uh, I eventually did find this place. Uh, there's this thing ahead of me. I did see it uh, off camera. Uh, it looks like a giant heart or a giant floating prune or something. I'm not entirely sure. Is that supposed to be a heart? I think it's a heart. I saw it so briefly, I couldn't tell what it was supposed to be. Um, try that. Okay, this works. Well, we got so many freaking weapons to try. Okay, I don't want to get too close to it. Well, I haven't used the spinal zap for uh, anything. What the hell? Where are you going, buddy? I don't know. It's not... Uh, it's kind of weird, but it's not like... I don't know. It's not super scary, actually. Wait, did, did the gamma gun not work on it? Gamma gun does not work. Okay, we're, we're going to unbalm the shit out of it then. Yeah, it almost looks like a giant prune. I've actually, I've never had, um, I've actually never had prunes. I've never had prune either. It's kind of weird. Actually, now that you think about it, like, why is it that, like, certain words, like, if you, like, if you've never had grapes before, you'll just say, I've never had grapes. You wouldn't say, I've never had a grape. Like, why is that one, why, like, why are some foods, like, pluralized? Um, oh, sh what the frick? Oh, shit, uh, boss time, uh... Uh, shoot it, kill it, I don't know. Little, man, th those are fucking weird looking. Can I touch the, this stuff? I can, okay. Uh. Oh, shit. Aw, uh, she's concerned about me when I get hit. She gets sad. I just embalmed the barrier? Who is that, by the way? And I touched her and the fire and the weird thing went out? Cool school. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I highly doubt that was the name of the um, school originally. Holy shit. Um, oh, now they're... Ah, uh, the spirits are leaving. It would have made more sense if the if the weird skull that had been like placed into the like top part of the like the attic the vent was like the cause of the of all the shenanigans. It's really weird that like the the fact that ghoul rhymes with school is the reason why this entire game was made this way, you know. Okay, so there weren't really that many ghouls even in it. I guess the, the weird alien-y, or the weird, like, un- like, what the fuck was it? The weird floating, like, demon head thing at the very beginning, plus a big old pile of bones, that was kind of scary, but, like, there wasn't really anything that was, like, scary, I don't think. Nothing was, like, ghoulish. It was it was just, it seemed like there was, like, an alien vibe, not more so, or, you know, it seemed like more there was more of an alien vibe than a, uh, than a ghoul vibe. What the hell is a ghoul? A ghoul is like a, like a spiritual, like a, or not a spiritual, like a spirit kind of thing, like a, like in a, um, what's it called? Ethereal, uh, being? Not, not even, you know, like it doesn't even have like a, like a body, right? Like ghouls are just, like ghosts and shit, right? Is, is it? I don't even know what a fucking ghoul is. Okay, uh. Is this the end screen? Okay, I think this is just... We just have to... Okay. I thought for a minute, I was like, well, all the... Once all the things are out, then uh, then we're gonna fucking um, see what she's got hiding under that skirt. But, uh... Maybe not. We're just gonna stand there. That dude does look kind of like... I don't know. He's just kind of standing there, kind of derpy looking. His legs standing apart. Yeah, it's weird. Um... Sometimes when I walk behind somebody, like, their knees kind of bow outwards. Like, it, like the shape of their legs, like, it kind of bows outwards at the knees. And then, like, every time they take a step, their knee, like, jostles kind of a little bit. And every time I watch somebody walk like that, I'm just like, it just kind of gives me, like, the willies. I'm like, man, that can't be freaking good. Like, what, what the fuck is it? I've seen it on multiple people. What is it that makes your legs, like, bow outwards? And then, like, every time you take a step, you're, you're, like, it looked, like, man, it looks painful. Um, you get that, like, weird feeling. It's like when you're, like, a dude and you see another dude get, like, 
hitting the balls. You get that weird like shiver kind of feeling where you, you're almost like, I think they determined that we have um, we have like mirror neurons that when somebody else feels extreme pain, we sort of like those neurons like sort of like sort of fire as if we felt it, and then we get like a weird feeling. Uh, a good one that made that happen. Um, I saw this video where there was this dude on like a laptop or something, and he's he's got his like knees bent, and he's got the laptop on it on like his thighs, and this girl comes up with a wine bottle. And the dude's, like, has, he's on his back with, like, his knees bent and his feet, like, flat on the bed. So she goes between his legs and pops the cork, like, onto his fucking balls. And holy shit, uh, boy, if that doesn't make you fucking, like, uh, turtle up, then I don't know what the hell will. Anyway, is this, are we all the way at the, um... I'm just try I'm just trying to like fill time. I didn't know that uh, I didn't know we were so close to the end. What was the point of that floating heart, by the way? Like, what what was that supposed to was that was that supposed to have some deep meaning or something or represent some kind of ghoul or spirit or monster or something? So how many ghouls or spirits or whatever the fuck were in this school? Oh shit! Did it just loop? Did I I wasn't super paying attention. It looked like um. It looked like it just, like, looped. Like they weren't done floating up to the top, but then they just disappeared. Oh, wait, actually, they all do that. Okay. You'd think that they could have, like, splurged on having them go all the way up off the screen instead of just disappearing. I just now noticed that. Actually, some of them, some of them do go all the way up. I saw two on the right side that went all the way up. That one right there, too. That little worm-looking one. I think all the big ones, uh just disappear. It's like they were so close to being done with the game, and they're just like, oh, I'll just fucking half-ass this part, nobody's gonna give a shit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I did have to use save states, and I did have to look it up. I can't imagine anybody play, you know, I guess I guess somebody did, but... Like, if every time I got... Every, if every time I died... I mean, I, they do give you five lives, at least. But, uh, I mean, they are generous with, like, not lose, With not making you lose, like, items and stuff, but... The fact that you have to go all the way back to the fucking beginning, like, who is gonna... Rem well, I guess in all fairness, once you uh, get a little bit further in the game and get some better weapons, you actually don't die that often. Um, so I guess it gets easier as you uh, as you go along, especially once you get the, the apple that gives you... or that, like, makes you take half damage. And plus, I guess there's enough uh, apples that give you... Um, more life, just in, like, almost every classroom, I think, had, had, um, either, like, a fuchsia apple that gave you full health, or, um, or, or a green apple that gave you two bars of health, or whatever. So, I guess, but, yeah, like, getting multiple game overs, and then trying to get back to where you were, like, is probably freaking impossible. Like, how the, like, you would have to, you, you'd have to probably draw your own map to get the, uh, because, like, how could you possibly get the hang of it when every, when everything, you know, all the backgrounds are caramel colored or whatever. Like, there's no way to tell any hallway from any other hallway. I guess this would be a good game. Like, drawing your own map actually probably would be. Um, you'd probably be able to do it better than freaking What's-His-Face did on um, on GameFAQs. That was a shitty fucking map. Um, not, uh, not, uh, I think there's a button to be like, was this helpful or would you recommend this or something like that? Definitely did not click the shit out of that. Um... I know you can't do something the shit out of, but, like, not do that. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, overall, this is, uh, the time where I try to say what my thoughts were on the game. I feel like every time I finish a game, it's like, okay, final thoughts, because that's what you do when you're an LPer. But it's like, I feel like I've been talking, I've been saying all my thoughts about the game as I've been playing it. So I feel like, overall, wh like, what else could I say that I didn't say already? I mean... The game does have some polish to it. Like, it's it's a decent game. The controls are kind of wonky. I feel like you're, um, you, you weren't able to jump over things very well. Like, you're, um, like, like, you can jump just fine, but then jumping while moving to the side, like, you can't jump over anything, so it's kind of, like, pointless, you know? I mean, even in Donkey Kong... At, on the arcade or whatever, you know, that was made like 10 or 11 years before this. 
you could jump over the barrels, you could jump over the fireballs or whatever. You can jump over shit. In this one, you can't jump over anything. Um, you just don't go fast enough, and your jump isn't... Uh, you don't stay in the air long enough to actually move sideways enough to get over it before you fall on them. So I think that was kind of... Um, that's something I wish would have been done better. But, uh, but yeah, it was kind of cool to have it be, like, sort of Metroidvania. Um, but then having more ways to tell the places apart. I mean, it was... They did do the thing where, um, the back, you know, like, the background wall or whatever was a different color in the area where you get different items. That was nice, but even in regular Metroid, they had the, they had the blue area, and they had the gold area, and they had the purple bubble area. They had different areas, so you could sort of tell, you at least knew what region you were in. Whereas with this one, all of the fucking hallways are caramel colored, so you can't have, you don't have any idea, like, where you are. And I kept... You saw that there was a couple of times, I think I did it off camera a time or two also, where I had no idea where I was going, and then I wound up right back at the fucking front door at the beginning of the game without even realizing it, that uh, that I was there. So, I feel like that, like, they could have done a better job, like, differentiating, like, the different hallways. Um, you know, like, the, the caramel-colored ones. Like, have a couple of different things or something. They could, they could have had diagonal lines... And then, like, vertical lines, and then diagonal the other direction, and then horizontal lines or something. Just some something to um, make the different sections of of the hallways, like, look different. So you could at least get your bearings on where you were in relation to some other areas. So, um, but yeah, I mean, the final boss, or whatever the fuck that was, was pretty fucking easy. I feel like they should, they could have made, they could have at least have, had it, like, like, th like, shoot shit at you and you had to hit it like you know 30 times or something you know like uh like that plant boss from um from battle kid or whatever that uh that aaron got stuck on you didn't have to make it that hard but i guess that game had one hit kills and this one doesn't but some some kind of something where it was like a challenge i don't think that the uh that boss was challenging at all i just kind of stood there and just shot it and then um so yeah so the end was kind of underwhelming but um but yeah i'm glad i played it and i probably I probably wouldn't have played it if I didn't have this channel. So, I mean, I'm, I'm glad for all the games I play, even the ones I end up not liking. But I did like this one reasonably well. Uh, it's not in my top 20 or anything, but um, but I didn't hate it. I liked it a lot more than a lot of the games I've played. I've played some big old fucking wet sloppy stinkers. Um, and this is definitely not in that category. Um, is there anything else? I think we're done. Usually when I run out of shit to say is when it's like, okay, I guess we're done. Um, uh, I can't, I don't have any more final thoughts other than those, uh, small, uh, issues that I just said. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching me guys. And, um, please like, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe, share, uh, comment and do whatever the fuck else you want. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.